No homo. All right. It's not. It's 2015. Oh, I don't have to say that anymore. Well, you shouldn't have to. Oh. More like the despicable athlete Mike Orlando, 6'4", 275. Earlier tonight, we saw him hit his sky-high power bomb. he calls the O-line on the dynamic sensation. But now he has to deal with Jason King. Right before he hits the O-line, he makes the O-face, which has truly been his big signature here in the sanctuary. I hear it's a sight to be seen, but seen by very few. I watched a uh, promo this guy put online the other day about his his feelings toward the sanctuary and our fearless leader, leader John Trotsky. And I got to tell you, just watching him in that video, this guy is all business. The elite athlete Mike Orlando, former offensive line captain at Keene University. He was a wrestler in high school. This guy has the athletic background to back up everything he does between the ropes. Yeah, but this guy, this guy doesn't know when to quit. This is Jason King, and he can take a butt whooping. He can take it just as much as he can dish it out. Jason King, one of the toughest competitors ever to step foot here in the sanctuary. And here they go on the ramp. They're not waiting to get in the ring or the bell to ring. Oh, wow. This is an all-out brawl. The officials got to get this under control. Get him to the ring. What a shot to the back by Orlando. This match hasn't even officially started, and Jason King is already in trouble. He didn't even get a chance to get his jacket off yet. I mean, Jason King's no slouch. He's 6'1", 240. He's a local hero. He hails from the Poconos, not far away from here. See, that's what these guys are all about. They're about this next generation. They're ready to fight as soon as the other guy gets there, and if you're not, you need to make sure that you bring your working boots. Big clothesline from Jason King. Tries to make the cover, but Mike Orlando, using a veteran maneuver, quickly making his way to the outside to gather his composure. He got out of dodge quick. He's trying to regroup, trying to come up with a different game plan for Jason King, but King just keeps coming. I think he might have pissed him off a little when he jumped him. A little bit. The ring's not going to confine this battle. These two whipping each other all over the building. Who knows, they might even end up going through the altar. And King wore his Sunday best to, to the show tonight. You know, he does have a, a wide variety of t-shirts, just, you know, there's not much left to him. That, that one's actually his golden boy. He told me that was his holy shirt. His holy shirt. Very nice, man. Oh, my. Did you see his face on the side of the ring? My God. Bounced off the ring apron. Oh, my God. I can't tell. His nose might be busted. It really might be broken. That was crazy. Jason King up on the apron looking at the fans here. They're cheering for him. Oh! Got distracted. I don't understand why the official's not calling for the bell. There was a clear low blow. I think it's being ruled as incidental, but let's be honest here, folks. Vicious DDT bridged across the middle rope. Concussion City, ladies and gentlemen. He got kicked in the nuts and then dropped on his face. Jason King is in serious trouble here. What are these two doing? What, uh, Steve Scott, the selfie superstar, Matt McIntosh coming out here, having some fun. You know, these guys are so self-absorbed. Steve Scott, Too Hot Steve Scott, actually said he hates using the app Snapchat because his selfies disappear after eight seconds. I don't even see them. Where, where are these guys? They're down here right below us. They're actually, they're in the crowd. They're sitting in the, Steve Scott's in the front row, egging on Jason King, waving to Mike Orlando. He's bringing McIntosh with him. There we go. We got a good shot of him. Uh, what are they going to eat, pizza? This is crazy. These guys can just do anything that they want. They can walk through the crowd. They can come out here with the new bacon pizza. They can do anything that they want. Well, right now, it doesn't look like they have to do much. Uh, Mike Orlando might have this one in hand. Uh, Jason King trying to put up a fight as best he can, but here he goes. And oh! Orlando dropped all of his weight down on King. That's all she wrote. There, I don't I don't think it's all she wrote. There's still a lot of fight left in King, but I don't, I don't understand why he's not going for a cover. 
I don't think Jason uh, Jason King is a strong competitor. Uh, now John Trotsky's down there trying to get restore some order with Steve Scott no, and Matt no, McIntosh. No, 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 no. Trotsky likes that new bacon pizza. That's what it is. He's been talking about it all day. I don't think he's down there for pizza, Vic. I mean, these guys have been making his life a living hell. And beautiful Inzaguri from Mike Orlando. But he's not going for the pin. I feel like he just wants to punish Jason King. It's a bacon-crusted pizza, and I'm Trotsky's all about it. Whoa. Whoa, and you're yelling at me for my language. This is, again, I... We don't have the luxury of sensors. This is broadcast over the internet, so anything you hear goes. Uh, again, we apologize to the families at home watching. Oh, inverted atomic drop. That'll buy you some time. Swings and misses. Another big atomic drop. Shoots him off. A power slam. Goes for the pin. One, two. Mike Orlando kicks out. Just like I told you, never count Jason King out. He's mounting an offense, and he is mad. Right hands to the face of Orlando. He better open up those fists if he want, doesn't want to risk disqualification. He's going up top. In the high rent district. He set him up for something. Comes off with a diving headbutt, but misses. He didn't get all of it. I think he got more canvas than midsection. Poorly telegraphed maneuver. Jason King is paying for that one. And oh! oh. Nice. That was impressive. When you see a man that size leap in the air and just deliver a swift kick like that, you know, Jason King might be out. Look at him pulling his limp body across the ring. Trotsky is at least three slices of pizza in down there. Matt McIntosh is telling Orlando to finish it off. These, these guys who, who fancied themselves too hot and the bad apple they're sitting there crushing pizza Trotsky's trying to restore order what's Orlando doing big moon salt he misses Jason King has a shot he has a snowball's chance in hell right now to win this one but he is in trouble ladies and gentlemen I'd just like to apologize for the language used by my announce partner uh, we certainly do apologize what did I say you said a shot in hell, and it's true, he does have a shot in hell of kicking Orlando's butt right now. He's on his feet, and a reverse knife edge. He's got him back into the ropes. This could spell the end, or at least some trouble for Orlando. Oh, he drops underneath one. Oh, Spears King. Laid him out with a big hit that he probably used in his collegiate days on the gridiron. Now he's set up for another one. Ho! He lands the O-line! It's all over! But Jason King's got his foot on the ropes! The referee didn't see it! Or no. This match isn't over, folks! Jason King had the wherewithal! He shoves the referee! Orlando shoves the ref! That should be an, that's an automatic disqualification! What is he doing? Wait, King's right behind him! Oh, big forearm to the jaw. Lining him up. Side rushing leg sweep by King. Comes off the ropes. Massive leg drop. Goes for the pin. One, two, kick out. I think your definition of a massive leg drop and mine are completely different, but it was an effective leg drop nonetheless. King is really taking it to Orlando. This is the most trouble we've seen him in in quite some time. Next time somebody drops 240 pounds of weight across your throat, you tell me if you can get up after three seconds. Oh, spine buster! He gave it back to him. He saw his O face. A modified O line, if you will. It's his lucky t-shirt. It is his lucky t-shirt. He is fired up. Jason King and his golden boy going outside the ring. What are they looking under the entranceway? Oh, he's got a chair. If the referee didn't throw this match out already, he should now. He should consider, wait, where's he going? Uh-oh. Well, he's chasing Steve Scott and Matt McIntosh to the back. The referee's counting, though. Something was happening at ringside. I'm getting word. I'm getting word, Vic. Uh Vic, I'm hearing in my headset that Jason King was distracted because McIntosh and Steve Scott were in the audience flirting with his girlfriend. 
They were out there making her uncomfortable. They were invading her personal space. And Jason King just couldn't take it anymore. He had to take care of business. He had to be a man. The match became secondary to him. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You need to learn one thing as a professional wrestler, and it's you don't bring your girl around professional wrestling. And it costs Jason King right there. It's part of this new group. These guys don't care about anything. They'll go after your girlfriend. They'll go after your wife. They'll even go after your kids. Adding insult to injury, Orlando spitting on Jason King. You know, they may have won this match. Not sure if they've won the war just yet. But I'll tell you, it was a definitive battle that got away from Jason King. It's turning into something that's quite personal. These guys are ready for personal fights, you can tell. McIntosh, Steve Scott, Orlando. This crew right now is a bunch of rogue individuals who are here to make a statement. You are going to remember their names, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. We got Steve Scott. He's already taking a selfie with the loser of the match. And now I'm looking at my phone. I, yep, I just got pinged. He already posted it to Instagram. This guy's unbelievable. Trotsky's having some trouble keeping order. He's three slices of pizza in, having some trouble holding everybody back. Can you give Trotsky a little bit of credit? He was down there trying to restore order, trying to get these two clowns out of ringside. They were the ones sitting there chowing down on Little Caesars, and then they go and they cause a disturbance going after Jason King's girlfriend, and now King is left with an L on his record. Did you know Trotsky's favorite pizza is the Supreme? And why do you say that, Vic? He just says it's supremely great. I see what you did there. You like that? I, I, you know what? Uh, in the heat of all this, in the middle of all this, <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm a big karaoke fan. It's hard for me not to sing. Look at these two. They're, they're, they, I think he just farted on a child. He just passed gas on a paying customer here at the sanctuary. Now, he, come, can we get the camera off of these two? Or these three? Can we get the camera off of them? They're a disgrace. They think they're the future. If this is what the future looks like, I might quit the business. I've listened to a lot of wrestling in my life, watched a lot of it. I've never seen somebody fart on a kid's head. And cue the guy, the internet warrior at home, who probably told me I should quit the business. Well, I expect that I get the gif of that uh, at some point this evening. I would just like to see the kid's reaction again. I, I, you know, I can't apologize anymore for the actions of these individuals tonight. It's it's getting out of hand. You know, all jokes aside, it's, it is disrespectful. Look at Jason King is frustrated. It's not the guy you want to take it out on. It's not his fault. He's there to help you. This you, know, is crazy. you know when the